Hey everyone, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. I'm already mixing up resin. So today is an experiment day and you're gonna see if it's a fail or if it's not a fail. So I'm determined to show you however it comes out because um, I don't know how it's gonna come out. I wanna try the crackle method again, um, but I'm gonna do something different with my top coat. You saw the steampunk one that I did, so I put all that stuff on there. This time I am going to do something after it's cured. And what I have here is a book of inspirational phrases that I got from Hobby Lobby and they're stickers, clear. They would be clear. So when you put it on the resin, you would only see the words. So instead of using my Cricut to, you know, print something out, I'm gonna go through these and find one that I like. And when it's cured, I'm going to put it on the front and then top coat that. But, I'm going to use black for the base, kind of for the veins that the crackle would do. And then I'm going to use interference blue, but I'm gonna combine it with some blue mica powder. But in my first layer, I'm going to be giving you a little test of one of my glitters that I have on my eBay store. And this one is called Ballroom Dance Fine. This is an extra fine iridescent glitter. Well, it's actually a holographic glitter, so you could like lay this flat on a tumbler as well and get the holographics, and I know the camera's probably not picking it up very good. So I want to get this in my clear, so there's going to be a little bit of glitter before the words, and not just the mica powder shimmer. I want my glitter in here. So I'm going to mix that in here. Now I'm using a little bit smaller tray than I used the other day. This one holds about an ounce and a half less because I don't know if it's gonna fail or if it's going to be a success. So that's why I'm using a little bit less resin. I'm just gonna take some of my glitter. And by the way, shipping is free on any items in my store, on my eBay channel or eBay store. Shipping is free on everything. So if you want anything, it's a great time to get it. I'm not sure how it's going to work out with free shipping. So for now, that's what it is. And we're just seeing how that goes. Um, just going to mix this in. A little goes a long way, as you could see. Same as that other glitter I was using like crazy. But now I have so many new favorites that I have in inventory right now that I think I'm just going to show you these and set my other favorites aside for a little while. I'm sure I will use them, but I want to test all these for you while I can, just so you know what you're, because pictures on eBay are not that great. I just, you just can't get good pictures of glitter. So I would rather show you in a video exactly what it's gonna look like. And even a video, I mean, when my friend comes over and she sees the items I make in person, she can't believe how much better they are in person than they are on video. So, okay, that was the perfect, perfect amount. It's just barely covering. I'm going to spray it with alcohol if I could find my spray and pop some bubbles. And I will let this sit until it's completely cured and then we're going to mix up our mica powder and our black, dump it on the back, let the thing do its magic, and then adhere our phrase after it's completely cured. So I will see you in one second. I guess I should have mentioned what kind of resin I'm using for this because a lot of people are new to resin and they don't know what goes to what. This one I am using my pump resin. This is one of my favorite ones. And it's a, like a medium viscosity, but you could pour it like an inch deep. I'm using it because I want less bubbles. So I'm not using my fast cure, even though I really want it fast cured. I could always throw it in my, my curing machine over there if I want to cure it faster. But being that it's like 10 o'clock at night, I don't think there's any rush to cure this. So I am using the pump resin uh, for both coats because this pump resin will have longer time working for all the striations to create itself. So that's why I'm using that one for this project. It is cured. It looks so pretty, so sparkly, and that glitter looks like it stayed suspended like I thought it would. 
So that looks gorgeous for the top. Now, as I was mixing, I changed my mind yet again about the colors. Instead of the black for the veining, I'm going to do pink. Because of the black letters that I'm going to put on the front of it, I just figured let's do a different color. So I split up four ounces of the same pump resin. And one needs to be transparent, which is going to be the pink. And then your mica powder. As if I'm 100% sure, which I'm not. <laughs> Like I said, I am still like messing around with this technique. So this is what I'm doing. Whether it works or not, we're going to figure this out. I don't care how long it takes me. I want perfect crackles. That looks pretty good. Let's see it on a piece of paper. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now, I did save a little bit of clear just because... I might pour some in the center. I'm not sure. I'm kind of playing it by ear. Let me. So I want blue, but I also want that white interference blue in here. I'm just going to kind of do a little mixture of it. See what happens. So make sure you mix it really, really good. You don't want any powder floating. And I will try to leave my phone here as long as I can for a time lapse for you because you guys seem to like those. They are pretty cool. So I'll leave it sit here. Hopefully it doesn't run out of charge. So my cord is not over here. That looks pretty good. Pretty color. Okay, so I'm going to do not necessarily the whole cup. I'm going to watch from the side to make sure. <clears throat> oh, look at that. I got powder in here and didn't even notice. Oh, my gosh. Let me see if I can get some of this out. I have a feeling that will ruin it. All right. Okay, let's get this on. I don't know how much I need. Just gonna... I got a little bit of powder right there. Unfortunately, I try to stay underneath the camera for you guys, and things like that happen. Alright, so that's about halfway. Now I'm going to do this one. Kind of in the oval shape. going to I guess I'm going to try this the clear like I do a geode we'll see what happens it's almost completely full so I'm gonna And dome it so I needed all four ounces. Perfect. All right, so let me spray it. And I will get you on a time lapse.
How'd you like that time lapse? Pretty cool, huh? I had to shut the phone off though because I had business calls coming in, so I hope you got it off. This is the final product. I did end up putting it in my curing machine to finish it off because I just couldn't wait. But gosh, those colors, the pink and the blue made purple, which I guess I should have expected, but I didn't expect it. So that was a nice surprise because I thought about doing purple as the clear. All right, well, it looks like it might have worked. <gasps> oh my God, it did! Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. So I put too much glitter. You would have seen the crackle better, but I love the glitter too. So a little less glitter next time. But that crackle came out amazing. Oh my gosh. I'm in love. I just can't believe how different the colors are on each side. There's the side. So cool. Okay, I'm going to go through these and see what I want to do and then we'll put a top coat on. Okay, this is the one I chose. Life is fragile, handle it with prayer, and I'm going to put it in the center the best I could. Kind of just like a uh, Cricut decal, I guess. Try to get all the bubbles out. So yeah, I should have done less less glitter. So if you do this with glitter, do less glitter because you can see it through. And I'm just going to pour probably, I don't know, I still wanted a tray. I'm going to probably mix up two ounces, but hopefully won't use it. I'm just going to cover it. Nothing more just enough to cover it so it doesn't so it doesn't lift okay let me go mix that up I mixed up 40 milliliters because that's probably way too much I didn't need two ounces I probably don't even need one but then I'm standing here staring and stirring and I'm like what about washi tape I think that would look good so as my resin sits here thank god it's not quick cure I'm going to just put some washi tape around this just to kind of like pretend it's not a sticker I guess. I get more ideas just standing here stirring resin than anywhere else. So I guess this is the magic spot in the room to come up with ideas. Whoops. I think that'll look good. I think I'll do the sides. I'm not sure. Do I need the sides? Let's try it. sides. It's hard with gloves on. I didn't plan on doing this, but I think that gives it the extra, the extra oomph. That's the word I'm looking for, oomph. Okay, now what do you think? I thought I had sticker crosses, but I think I sent them with my friend. Because I'm like, oh, I'm not going to use them while you're gone for a month. Go ahead and take them. I think I would have used it, but that's okay. This is perfect. All right. This is my pump resin. Just because I want it to, like, 
degas before it cures with any bubbles. trying to keep it a tray. I don't want to fill the whole thing up. Just enough to cover everything. So I think the only thing that I would change is either no glitter or a lot less glitter. Because you would have seen the crackle a lot better if I didn't have so much in there. I barely even added any. So like if you guys order this shimmery, extra fine, no matter which one in my eBay store that says extra fine, it will last you a lifetime because you barely need any. This extra fine stuff is like, goes a long way. I have so many colors in extra fine right now. Just a little bit more so it's not like struggling. There we go. As soon as all the bubbles come out, which I really don't see any, I will put it in the curing machine because I'm excited to get this video done and out to you guys. Oh my gosh, I love it. There's one more bubble right there. Oh no, what is that? Something in there. I don't know what it is. There it is. There we go. What do you think, guys? Give me your comments. Oh my god, I'm in love with it. And I don't love many things that I make. You could probably tell when I demold them by my like response but this one I do love okay I will be back when it's done not that it's gonna change any so actually I'll say goodbye now I will get you a few ending pictures as soon as it is done thanks for coming in guys I hope you like it let me know if you want to see more maybe I'll do something else other than a tray all right talk to you later bye